Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement this uh, sort of electric like sword effect in Unreal Engine 5.1 uh, 2. So this would be based on the previous sword VFX system that we worked on. And I am going to use this material that I implemented for this portal that I called the electric field effect. And I'm going to integrate that into the sword Niagara particle system I have created previously. In this video, I created the electric sword effect, and I am going to use that uh, effect I created uh, with this new electric field material I created and see how it going to look so I can just here we have uh, if I select this I can just uh, see so effect component if I open it so this is the original effect that I have I have over in the color here so here we have this smoke and trail and lighting spark. So this is what we need to change. So here on the sprite render, I have this my lighting, and this is based on this sprite sprite sheet. Let me open it and see, show you. So now we can't just replace the material so let me duplicate this I'll name electric sword 2 right now let me open it and here Let's first uh, go to the material we created on the electric field. So this is the material. Let me select that. And use it. Let's not update that. Why not? Ah, oh, sorry. This is his box. Let me do that. This is the electric. Let me use the electric bit. Okay, it looks fine. Mm. But we need to optimize this. Now let me add apply this okay, this effect here so I think it's too fast so spawn rate well, I use the material no this is the instance so why does it look too fast here oh well actually let me pause this so in the material itself we do have this uh, moment but here we have some moment as well this subview animation does that make a difference let me disable that all right so here we have here we have enabled sub -UV. Let me disable it. Right. So now that we don't have the sub -UV animations, it starts to look better. Let's see how it looks here. It looks like it attracts the electricity. Is that the way it should be? I think that happens because of this uh, 
scale change yeah now initially let's make it a bit smaller between 10 and 20 right and i think it would be better if we give it some moment let me make it a bit more smaller right let's first add some velocity here and velocity okay it goes up i'll decrease the speed and what's this alignment i'll make it velocity alignment Now, as you can see, this looks like it has the same pattern. So, how do you, like, you can see it changes in the same way regardless of they are like different sprites in the particle. So, we can get rid of that here. What should we change? Let's see. We can get particle random mode and add to this speed. Now we should see some variation. See, now it's not the same like before. Okay. And what about the uh, moment? Um, city. Right now we see some. Okay. Starting to look good. Mm. What, we, uh, what if we add another vortex to vortex velocity? This, oh, not vortex velocity, let's try vortex force. Okay. It, I do see some rotation, but that's uh, not going to work. I'll increase this. Okay, now I see more rotation and let's enable this origin pulling mount, something large. Oh, right. It's. I think it does not uh, rotate with this sword. See, it's uh, stays vertical. Right, it only looks good as long as it looks vertical. There, four. Let me change it to here and I know this okay now I can set local now it should be local apply no it doesn't make that no, difference this one should be local Right, now it rotates around the sword. And how to prevent them going far away from the sword? Well, we can try decreasing the vortex force. Maybe even further. Yeah. 
right and we can control the rates also here we will pick it by by hundred doesn't look much like electricity to be honest but still it looks cool at least I think so right now I don't think the color change is affecting here it doesn't okay why is that mm, yeah they are using the all oh, right we should use particle color. and then it should work still no see much of difference uh, well I think the color does not affect much uh, from the particle color because of this blue so what if I do a component mask here and since the main color is blue I'll filter B channel and fit it here now it becomes white almost and yeah see now it's working now we can change the color to anything we need okay so with that i'm going to stop my this episode here Here is the final version and here also this has become white because I added the multiplier instead of using the texture color but now you know how to change that for the particle as well so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.